Hello again, everyone. So again, continuing with our graphing part of this unit, we're going on to the second form of these linear equation graphs. We're talking about point slope form this time. So we talked about slope. We talked about slope intercept form. Now we're talking about point slope form. Learning objectives today, I can write equations in point slope form and I can graph equations in point slope form. The nice thing about slope intercept and point slope form is that they're literally telling you the two things you get with those different forms. In slope intercept form, you got the slope and the y intercept. You use them to, to make the equation and to graph it. In point slope form, basically the same thing. You get one point on the graph and you get the slope of the graph. Let's take a look. Here's what we know so far. We know that slope intercept form that y equals mx plus b has m as the slope, b as that y-intercept, m as that movement, b as that beginning. Now, the slope of a line is that number m, which measures its steepness. Slope had um, a bunch of different types of, of values for its slope. For example, you had this one, which if you remember from the roller coasters, was zero fun. It was super boring. This was a zero slope. And then if we were going uphill, you had positive slope. This is a slope of 1 over 2. Here's an uh, exact opposite. Here's a slope of 2 over 1. The impossibly scary one, the one that makes you undefined, vertical slope. And then if you're going downhill, that negative slope. This case would be negative 1 fourth. So different examples of different lines and their slopes, just to remember. <clears throat> New stuff is this point slope form. This form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where m is the same as before, it's our slope, but x1 and y1 is the given point on our line. So it's not given that it's the y intercept anymore, it's just given any point that's on the line of our graph. Let's talk about where it comes from. So here's two points on this blue graph that we have in this uh, coordinate plane. Remember, slope formula was that y equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, all they did was take the slope formula and move the stuff from the bottom all the way to the side. It's on the bottom. It's being divided. What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. So they multiplied it on both sides. When they did that, they ended up with slope m times x2 minus x1, or just x minus x1. Rearranging to put the y's first, it looks identical to our point slope form, which is y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. So that's where it comes from. Linear equation is written in the form y minus y1 equals slope m times x minus x1. That's our point slope form. The graph of the equation is a line with that slope passing through that point, x1 comma y1. So let's plot that point and then count the rise and the run. Here's an example. You have the graph of the equation y minus 3 equals negative 1 half times x minus 4. It's a line of a slope with uh, the slope 1 over negative 2, and it passes through the point 4, 3. This is the one tricky thing about slope, or I'm sorry, point slope form. Our x's and y's of the point are the opposite of what they say in the equation. That's why it's minus x1 minus y1. So in this equation here, we see a minus 4 and a minus 3. We want the opposite point when it comes to our graph. So they switch and they become positive 4 and then positive 3. So we could plot that point first, positive 4, positive 3. And then we count our slope 1 over negative 2. So I could go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. And I could keep going to get as many points as I want. But really all you need is two more. I could connect the dots. There's my graph based off of this point slope form. Let's do another one. 
<clears throat> this time you're given the slope m equals negative one third and you're given the point negative one comma negative six plug in the values you know well this time we lucked out we know what the slope is and we know what the x1 and the y1 are because it gives us the point in the problem so i could plug those values in i know my slope m is at negative one third and again look what happens to our values it was negative one negative six but what i'm plugging them in it's the opposite so now it's plus one and plus six x goes by the x y goes by the y switch the signs there's our point slope form okay so now in this problem given the graph we know the point is negative 2 comma negative 2 we could count rise over run looks like it's up 2 and over 3 so we also know that that slope is 2 thirds take the points take the slope plug them in I have y plus 2 equals two-thirds times x plus two opposite values from the from the graph same slope from the graph there's my points there's my slope here's another one this time it says write point slope form for the equation of the line through the point negative two comma five with a slope of three so given us the point Giving us the slope. Let's come up with the equation. Now, on this one, we know the slope is 3. So, whenever I see slope, which is m, I plug in that 3. Then I plug in my y value and my x value. So, I have my 5 for the y, negative 2 for the x. And this one I like a lot because it really gives you that visual. Remember, it's minus there. So, minus a positive is just going to stay uh, minus. But minus a negative switches and it becomes positive. So our final answer here is y minus 5 equals 3 times x plus 2. Given two points, can we write point slope form? Well, given two points, let's find that slope first. Using our slope formula, we're going to go x2 minus x1 all divided by, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry y2 minus y1 all divided by x2 minus x1 so i have negative 2 minus negative 3 all divided by 4 minus 2 double negative makes it positive so i have negative 2 plus 3 4 minus 2 on the bottom became 2 negative 2 plus 3 becomes 1 so my slope of these two points is 1 over 2. now i could use that and just pick any of those points to plug it in for point slope form so whenever i see m I'm just going to plug in my slope of one half. And I use the first point for this one. So I have two comma negative three. So I plug my two in next to the X. It's positive. So it's going to stay minus. I plug my negative three in next to the Y double negative switches becomes positive. So my equation is Y plus three equals one half times X minus two. That's it for us today, guys. So point slope form. We learned how to find the point from the formula, looking at the opposite values, but then the x and the y, then just counting the slope, rise over run, and we could graph it from there. We also found how to write equations given different things, given the graph, given the point and the slope, or given two points. So a lot going on with point slope form. As always, Shoot me an email if you have any questions. See you.